Welcome to our channel where we delve into the complex decision of whether reconnecting with an ex is a wise choice. Love is always a way of lingering and we're here to provide you with the thoughtful insights to help you navigate the delicate path of considering a second chance with your former partner. In this video, we explore the factors to consider when contemplating rekindling a past romance, discover the potential benefits of revisiting a connection rooted in shared history and familiarity, while also gaining an understanding of the challenges that may rise. Our aim is to help you make an informed choice that aligns with your well-being and happiness. Subscribe now for regular updates on relationship dynamics, emotional growth, and insights into making informed decisions about love. Join the community of individuals seeking clarity and fulfillment in matters of the heart. Rekindling a past connection, especially with an ex-lover, is like stepping on an uncertain ground. The decision to grant someone another chance after they've caused pain isn't a straightforward one. It's a path fraught with complexities, whether it involves a once close family member, a faded friendship, or a past romantic partner. In this video, we'll delve into four key factors that should shape your contemplation when faced with the choice of whether to offer someone a second opportunity to be part of your life. Number one, have they accepted responsibility for their actions? Before you even contemplate offering someone a second chance, the first test is to evaluate whether they've truly accepted responsibility for their past actions. This step is crucial because it's an indicator of their willingness to rectify the harm they've caused. To navigate this, consider the following questions. Are they acting like nothing happened? Take notice of their behavior. If they're going about their business as if the past doesn't matter, it might be a red flag. Genuine remorse usually leads to acknowledgement and an eagerness to address the issue. Are they blaming you for being overly sensitive? Beware of attempts to shift the blame onto you by portraying your reactions as exaggerated or unwarranted. This is a tactic often used to evade taking responsibility for their actions. Are they genuinely acknowledging their error and apologizing for messing up? A sincere apology isn't just about uttering the words, it's about showing a deep understanding of the pain they've caused and demonstrating genuine remorse. Remember, a healthy foundation for any relationship is built on the ability to take ownership of one's mistakes. People who acknowledge their errors create an environment of trust and accountability. This willingness to confront past wrongs showcases their commitment to growth and the relationship's well-being. Number 2. Can you forgive this person? Now that you've assessed their willingness to take responsibility, the next pivotal question revolves around your capacity to forgive. This stage is pivotal because, without forgiveness, the prospect of giving someone a second chance can remain elusive. You see, we're all human, and that means we're prone to making mistakes. So before we even get into the realm of second chances, it's essential to open our hearts to forgiveness. There's a fascinating study in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology that sheds light on the profound impact forgiveness can have. It makes us feel truly human again. But here's the thing. Before you go any further, ask yourself, can you genuinely forgive this person? To help you answer that, ponder on these questions. Do you fully comprehend the reasons behind their actions? Understanding their motives can pave the way for empathy and open communication potentially leading to healing. Can you empathize with their actions? Connecting with their perspectives might offer a deeper understanding of their behavior, helping you decide whether forgiveness is possible. Have you experienced forgiveness before? Reflecting on how it felt when you were granted forgiveness for your own mistakes, this can provide insight into the transformative potential of forgiveness. Is the relationship worth salvaging? Evaluate whether the connection is worth the effort required for forgiveness and potential reconciliation. Forgiveness doesn't imply absolution of the transgressor's behavior. Instead, it restores your sense of humanity and can initiate the healing process. Keep in mind that making space for forgiveness can lead to emotional well-being and pave the way for moving forward. If you're still there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more relationship advice like these. Now let's get back into the video. Number three, has the person grown? If so, are they maintaining those changes? So you've assessed their accountability and gauged your capacity to forgive. Now comes the pivotal question. Has this person genuinely grown? And are they actively maintaining those changes? Change isn't easy, especially when it's requested by someone else. 
A study in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships underlines the significance of support during the process of change. If you're the one asking for change, make sure to let them know that their efforts are appreciated and making a positive impact. This mutual support can set the stage for successful growth. Think about it like this. Change requests can actually be a sign of commitment. When someone cares enough to ask for change, it's a testament to their investment in the relationship. Looking at it from this perspective can make such requests more motivating and less distressing. However, a crucial point to remember is that if your ex-partner or friend hasn't shown emotional maturity or continues to engage in the behaviors that caused issues in the first place, welcoming them back might jeopardize the emotional progress you've fought hard to achieve. It's all about weighing the potential for positive change against the risk of falling back into unhealthy patterns. Number 4. Have you adequately communicated your new expectations? When it comes to your relationship, it's important to consider the expectations you have for each other. As both of you evolve and change, so do your ideals, needs, and desires. This underscores the significance of effectively communicating your new expectations to your partner. Think of a relationship as a dynamic entity, always evolving and requiring mutual understanding and adaptation. With this in mind, let's delve into what these expectations might entail. A healthy relationship thrives on a foundation of mutual trust. This trust is a cornerstone that fosters security and confidence in each other's intentions and actions. Alongside this, an essential component is equal commitment. The success of a relationship is deeply rooted in the equal dedication both partners bring to its growth and well-being. Emotional intimacy is nurtured through empathy and acceptance. By acknowledging and embracing each other's experiences and emotions, you create a deeper connection. A positive atmosphere is maintained through appreciation. Regularly expressing gratitude and showing appreciation for one another reinforces the positive aspects of your relationship. A strong partnership thrives on mutual understanding and compromise. Willingness to understand each other's viewpoints and find common ground forms the bedrock of a healthy relationship. Additionally, fostering an environment of respect for differences is crucial. Acknowledging and respecting each other's unique qualities and differences cultivates a sense of tolerance and acceptance. These expectations aren't set in stone. They can evolve alongside you both. Regular, open communication ensures that your relationship remains aligned with your ever-changing needs and desires. Remember, it's the continual dialogue that allows you and your partner to navigate the dynamic journey of your relationship together. It's a testament to our humanity, reflecting our capacity for growth, forgiveness, and understanding. However, with this power comes great responsibility. It's a decision that shouldn't be taken lightly, and it's crucial to approach it with discernment and consideration. Before venturing into the realm of second chances, ask yourself these fundamental questions. Has the person taken responsibility for their actions? Can you truly forgive them? Have they shown genuine growth and commitment to maintaining those changes? And have you effectively communicated your evolving expectations to create a strong foundation moving forward? Remember, a second chance isn't a band-aid solution to past issues. It's an opportunity for growth and healing. It's a journey that requires both parties to be willing to invest time, effort, and sincerity into making the relationship work once more. It's about rebuilding trust, nurturing understanding, and fostering mutual respect. Ultimately, the decision to offer a second chance should be grounded in the belief that both individuals are committed to the shared endeavor of repairing, strengthening, and evolving the relationship. As you navigate this intricate decision, consider the depth of your emotions, the potential for growth, and the genuine desire to create something beautiful once again. Remember, the power of a second chance is profound, and its impact on your journey is yours to shape. If you found this discussion insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking insights on relationships and personal growth. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you ever given someone a second chance? What was the outcome? Remember, it's your life, your choices, and your journey. Until next time, keep exploring, evolving, and making choices that align with your heart's wisdom.